Hello, welcome to the Jerome B Farm. It's uh, Thursday, April 18th, 2018. And today I need to check on five splits that I made. I made uh, one split, which is two hives now, on the 9th, and I did the other hive into three hives on the 10th. So in each of those hives, I put uh, queen swarm cells. So those swarm cells should have emerged by now, I think. Uh, and there should be probably a virgin queen in there. So I'm going to check and make sure the swarm cells have opened and check for a virgin queen. I'll also look for some eggs, but I think it's probably kind of early for that, for the queen to already be mated and back and laying already. So I'm going to see what's in these hives. Uh, it's hive number 10, Pocasset Polyhive. They're the third one from the left on that big row there. And hive number 15, uh, you saw me split hive number 15 the day I came out here to put honey supers on and my plans got changed by the bees. So hive number 15 is actually, it was so strong, I just made it into a double deep. And the other double deeps over there on that far row over there. So with that, I'm gonna get into these and see what we got going. Uh, hopefully five, I'm gonna do five quick inspections and this won't be too long a video. If it gets to be too long, I'm gonna split it up into two. So I'll start with the uh, hive number 15 that you saw uh, me do the split with that. So there is a video of that. Uh, if you, I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. And uh, then I'll follow up with the three-way split on the Pocasset Poly Hive. So hive number 10. So for those of you who are keeping track of the hive numbers. So uh, going to take notes and write down what I find. Hopefully I'll find five queens, five virgin queens or five queens laying. Who knows? So let's go see what we've got. Okay, we're going to start here at hive number 10. It's a double deep hive. The original split is this bottom box. Uh, this top box is probably mostly empty. I'm going to pop the top, look in the top real quick, but I'll probably go right on down into the bottom and I'll scoot the camera up and uh, get close ups of these frames and see what we have here. This was a really strong hive to begin with. When I opened this up and found the swarm cells, there were there was a super high uh, population in here so i don't think this queen actually did swarm and i moved the box that had the most uh eggs over to that side so i'm hoping the queen got moved over there and then she didn't swarm so we'll see what we find in here So there's a few bees down on the bottoms of all of these frames here. But I'm interested in what's in here. Okay, let's see what we have. My spoker's about to go out. These bees are acting a little skittish. So I'm guessing there's not a queen in here yet, the way just kind of by the way they're coming at me. So here's pollen. It's a pollen frame. This next one looks like a blank that I put in. It is, it's empty. So you can see they're drawn out on that a little bit. It's a little bit cool. It's not quite 70 degrees, but it's sunny and the wind's not blowing, so the bees are fairly active. So I see a lot of nectar on this frame. I don't see a queen. little bit of nectar in that location so this is all nectar
pretty good bee population in here. So here's a nectar frame, a little bit of nectar. And this is a good candidate for egg laying, but I don't see anything. So here's a queen cell here that's not open yet. Interesting. So I may be a little early. See that queen cell? It doesn't appear to be open. So I may have jumped the gun on this inspection. So there were several queen cells I put in here. Well, I say several. There were at least two. There's, there'll be another frame with some queen cells on it. Here's some of the brood from the original queen. There's a queen cell there that's not open yet either. That looks like a super cedar cell right here. So this is a brood frame and I see a queen. I see a, probably a virgin queen. She's right here by my thumb. Try and get her in the frame. It's hard for me to see this. She's right there. There, yeah, see her in the center frame there. So there's a virgin queen in here, so that's a good deal. So I'm going to be very careful putting her back in here. She's in the center of the frame right now. So I'm not going to squish her on the edges. Slowly move this back. So, so she's right in here. So now I'm going to scoot all these frames at once. So there's no danger of hurting that queen. And I'm going to smoke these bees out of this crack on both sides to get that back together in case by chance she got up in there. Boy, they're tearing me up. You see the right side of my head? <laughs> So we get the top back on here. Okay, I want to show you my uh, new way of taking notes. Okay, so I got me a binder here with all these tabs. So I got all my hive numbers right here. So this is hive number 15. You can see there I'm keeping my notes. So there's my notes from the ninth where I split it. So I'll make my note here. Uh, April 18th found the Virgin Queen in the bottom deep. Okay, this is hive number 22. This is the split off of that hive that we just looked at. And from the, the frames that I brought over here, I thought that the queen might be in this bunch here. So if I find the original queen in here, that's great because that means I successfully performed an artificial swarm. She shouldn't want to swarm and she's still laying eggs and good. So 
that means this hive will build up faster. If not, that means they have to produce a queen, there's a two week delay to start laying eggs and all of that, and it takes more time to build up. So, and, you know, the odds are, you don't have 100% success in the queen flying out, mating and coming back. So you could lose the queen, then you have to start over with a, a brood frame with eggs to get them to try and make another queen a second time. So then you're talking like you're maybe into June by that time. So. Let's open this sucker up and see what we find in here. Hopefully we find, hopefully we find the original queen. If not, maybe a virgin queen. And those bees from the other hive over there still tearing my head up. Let's get this off of here. If you look on the drought map, we're in a moderate drought the severe drought is not too far to the west of us out in western oklahoma but it's really dry here so there's a good population of bees there okay lots of nectar right there just like that other hive these here are a little more calm so there may be a laying queen in here, the way these are acting. They're chilling. So I'm seeing nectar mainly. Here's some pollen here on a bee I see. So they're bringing in pollen. A lot of times if you see pollen, that means they're bringing in pollen for a brood. which means you got a laying queen, but that's not a surefire way of telling. So I see larva, uncapped larva. So based on the timing of that, I'd say there may be a laying queen in here. So I'm gonna be looking real close. So right here, I see white. It's capped here, so it means she started laying there first and worked her way out. So there's uncapped here. Interesting. I may have got that queen in here. That would be cool. Okie Rob said, she gone. But uh, I'm hoping he's wrong. Okie Rob's usually right. We'll see. Bunch of brood, capped brood. I see a few drones. Don't see a queen here. I gotta stand up straight. It's killing my back. Normally I would stop after I saw those eggs, but we're on a mission. Ha ha ha, I see a marked queen. She's got some yellow on her which means uh, it's a queen that I didn't mark. Yeah, where is she? There she is. There is, let's see. That's not Pocasset Polly. What, so that's the original queen from hive number 10. So if this queen has yellow on it, this has to be a queen that I purchased. All right, that's enough of that. So there you go, Oki Rob.
I have successfully done an artificial swarm. Get her back over here without hurting her. She's right here in a bunch of bees. So I'm gonna slowly move this over. So that's awesome. I love it when uh, the bees follow my plan. It's not very often. Well, if they followed my plan, they'd be making honey. They wouldn't be over here. So, I'm not so smart after all. <sighs> all right, so there you go. How's that for a successful beekeeping video? Two for two on queens. I did my artificial split. Found the virgin queen over there from the swarm cells. And this queen came over here to a new home and she's like, hey, this place is cool. There's no need for me to leave here. So she stayed, she has not swarmed. There's no new swarm cells in there that I found. In fact, she chewed out the swarm cells that were there. So her instinct is saying, I'm done, I'm staying here. There's no need to swarm and she, or somebody killed those swarm cells. The bees in here did, or she did, and uh, they're done. So. They're gonna build this up, but chances are I'm not gonna get any honey out of this hive, uh, maybe by fall, because they gotta build this whole top up that's empty. So, hey, give me a thumbs up if you would, and uh, like my channel if you haven't, uh, or subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and uh, we're over 1,000 now, we're like 1,100 and something, and uh, I'm like 95% of my uh, 4,000 monetization hours. So anyway, uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.